parts of your home. You know those big branches that fall on your car? You know, I know it's, it's uh, we're in September right now, but you know before you get here, before, before you know snow is going to be here, those big limbs are going to be hanging over your driveway. How do you get rid of them? You use our today's special pole saw. Let me show you before we meet the crew, because everybody's here today. Peter's here today. John's here. Kristen's here. Before we get into all that, let me show you the colors that we have available. Brand new colors. We've never done these in colors before. Normally, you just get that gray color. Well, I'll start close to me, and I'll work my way down. This is going to be one of the most popular, and this is our camo color. What we're doing is just showing you the top. Obviously, there's going to be a nine and a half foot pole that's connected to this, but for our space, we just uh, show you the top. It also comes in purple. This is the turquoise, if you want the turquoise. It comes in the navy blue. This is green, so if you like that kind of lime green, that's it right there. There's your yellow. It also comes in orange, and then finally it comes in red. You're also gonna get the pole that goes along with it, the extender pole, which gives you another nine and a half feet. So what do we love about this pole saw? Well, why is it that we love it so much? First of all, if you've ever seen a traditional pole saw out there, in fact, I've got one right here, and I'll show you really quickly, right? This is big and bulky. This isn't even a real big one, but the thing weighs about 40 pounds in your hand. You'd never stand on a ladder. You should never get on a ladder with one of these things unless you're a professional you got to put gas in it it's got a hundred different buttons in it you have to prime it you have to pull start the thing so if you've got uh, any issues with your hands you're not going to be able to do that it's a pain in the neck and it smells bad because it takes gas what's nice about ours is it's electric so you never have to worry about anything you don't have to worry about putting gas in it you don't have to worry about fumes you don't have to worry about polluting the environment because there's no gas uh, combustion fumes coming out of this thing you simply plug it in instantly it goes to work you squeeze a little trigger there's a little safety valve down there so you make sure you do it right if you want to adjust the angle there's a little dial on top that allows you to get that angle so just by the weight of the saw itself which by the way is only eight and a half pounds but that weight is enough to take down those branches now let me introduce you to my good friend peter kilcon has been waiting patiently over there hi buddy hey, how you doing good guys? to see you pal thank you now we should tell everybody this is not like the traditional pole saw that we've had here for so long this one actually has a bigger the biggest bar and chain we've ever done exactly Exactly, a full yep. 10 inches on that bar and chain. We typically have had the eight, this is the full 10. And what does that mean to you? It just means you're gonna be able to take care of larger limbs, you're gonna be able to take care of larger pieces of firewood, however you wanna use your pole saw, it's a great way to do it. So, the, the largest bar and chain we've ever had, the first time we've ever had color sky. Yeah. This is the lightest chainsaw pole saw that we've ever had. This is also the only one you just mentioned that with the articulating head, so we can go from zero degrees to 15 to 30 degrees, so you can get that angle when you're getting those real high branches nine and a half feet long we can extend this to and it weighs less than nine pounds it really has it all and everybody I speak to you says the same thing oh I've always been thinking about it I really have to get yeah. a pole saw I don't need a chainsaw but I need a pole saw right and then did you know right now yeah is absolutely the perfect time to get your pole saw and I think you know why you've looked outside you've seen all the explosive growth that you've had from spring to summer yeah so look at those trees all around it's been the a lot windows. of rain here in florida yeah, so everything's growing. everything's overgrown right yeah. so you've you've had that growth <laughs> so now look outside do you have branches near the windows near the roof maybe hanging over the the uh, driveway or near the garage where the cars are so all these branches are going to be very dangerous they're going to cause a lot of damage during the winter time heavy rain heavy snow a lot of heavy winds they're going to cause problems but not for you now that you have your pole saw so that's it that's yeah. why it's amazing and i'm going to start well, cutting. before we get chopping okay. i want to tell you why you pick it up today because this thing is amazing and also i'd invite any of the ladies out there that have bought this uh from any of our earrings we'd love to talk to you i'd love to hear because we're gonna have Kristen come out in just a second and show you that you don't have to be a big strong person to use this i think that's one of the best things about it absolutely anybody can use this if you pick it up today take a look at our price first of all it's only 89 dollars and 95 cents 22 dollars and 49 cents is your flex pay because you got four payments to pay this off. By the time it's paid off, you're gonna be using this so many so many dang times. I can't get over how many times I use it on palm fronds, on my on the bigger yep. uh, parts of my hedges where you know you can't cut through that with just regular clippers. Exactly. We use it for all that. So get it home, especially while it's on free shipping and handling, because I know that free shipping is something they just threw in. Get it home and use it. It pays for itself. The first time you gotta hire somebody to, to use one of these things, cost you a hundred bucks. I know, we've talked about that so many times and I've heard yeah. a lot of stories already tonight from everybody in the studio that that happens. You have the guy
guys come out to tell you that they'll cut the trees for you, but it's very expensive. At $89.95, this is what it would cost to do just a couple of trees one time. You'll use this now, you'll use it in the spring, you'll use it again and again because it works so well. Now you can see it's a very, very light fiberglass pole. Now I want to show you when I put this down on that limb right there, this is the first time that we've had that 10 inch bar. So that's probably a two and a half, almost a three inch diameter. But you can use this to cut that firewood really up to nine inches or maybe 10 inches in diameter with that 10 inch bar and chain. Remember, automatic oiling system, all you're doing is adding oil right there. If there's oil in there, it will automatically lubricate that bar and chain and you're ready to go. So it's just simple enough to just turn this on and then just lay it right down on that limb and then Look let the chain saw do the rest for you. Look at how easily it cuts through there, nice and smooth, and most importantly, nice and safe. Now, when I let go of the trigger, you'll see right there that it stops, the noise stops. You are always in control with this pole saw. And as you said just a moment ago, go guy, this is something that everybody can handle because it is lightweight enough. It is simple enough to use. You're gonna add your extension cord. You're gonna put a little bar and chain oil in there yeah. and you are going to be saving money by cutting I, those limbs. This was, it's one of the best purchases I ever bought at HSN. Yeah. And I, you know, we can't buy every single thing, but I would say my pressure washer, which I love, and this are my favorite outdoor tools that we have they're they're just fantastic and I'm telling you why because it's so easy you know a regular chainsaw is hard you got to fill it with gas you got to worry about the oil you got to mix two in one of this exactly. and that you know, you'll never use it it's like having a boat without having a place to keep it you know you just you, you'll never use it because it's too much work well I think this many, is easy yeah many people have just said and I think I've always been the same way guy grab yeah. that big chainsaw right there you're yeah. a big guy you can grab that chainsaw this is what you've never wanted you've Let's never see. really thought hey I really got to go out and buy a chainsaw like this first right. of all they're loud, they're difficult to start, you have to mix the oil, you gotta prime yeah, the bolt. Pull it. And, and then you can't reach any of those branches up overhead, and then you have to think about, do I get on a ladder with a chainsaw? Simple answer, no. Right. You don't need to do look that. At, look at this. I have this actually all, collapsed. Let me show them really quick here. <laughs> look at all the instructions on what you need to do here. Look, you're gonna hop on one leg, and then you do a summer. No, nah, you're never gonna do all this stuff. And you don't need something this big to do most of the jobs around your house. Exactly, that big, that heavy, and that dangerous. So don't get up on a ladder and do that. Here I have this actually collapsed to its smallest height, and you can already see how big it is. Guy, you know what, I'm gonna run over here and I wanna show you exactly okay. what this looks like. We've got a little, we've got our own homemade measuring tree right here, All right. and I'm gonna bring this over with okay. us. And then I can show you what we can do with this, where I'm able to take this and extend it all this the, the way out. Part. Watch. Now, oh, make sure I just extend it out Lock and it tighten in. that up right there. And then when I put this down right there, Look at that. As we said, I'm up a, a little piece of wood here, so nine and a half feet tall. So that's what we're talking about with it resting on the ground. Now, when I hold it, you can see that I can still safely get to, look at that. Yeah, you're up I 12. I mean, 11, 12, 12. You want to maintain, yeah. you know, an angle so you're not directly underneath what you're cutting. But 12 and a half feet, and I'm just over six feet tall, is pretty doable with this. If you went outside your house right now and you examined what those tree branches are like, at eight foot, 10 foot, or 12 feet high, that's a lot of branches that you can take care of with this while you're standing on the ground. And you don't have to worry about getting on a ladder. You don't have to worry about gas. You don't have to worry about the fumes and the noise. This is gonna do it for you. It's gonna do it safely. And trust me, you are gonna be able to cut those limbs. One of the things I, I wanted to talk about real quickly is that when you look at those big chainsaws, those big powerful ones that are scary and intimidating, what they have is an Oregon bar and chain. That's the industry standard. You're gonna find that on um, just about every brand. You're gonna find that on gas powered. So you can see here that we have an Oregon bar and chain. So that bar and that chain is exactly what you see on all those other models of chainsaw, whether it's gas powered or electric, we have that on here. So you know you're getting a quality, well-built um, bar and chain. And that's the most important part. And then you have that automatic oiling system. You are going to be able to do this. This is gonna make it easy. This is going to make it safe, and you really are going to save money. It's very addictive once you get started. Yes, it's, it is very addictive, and I, I was running all over my house. I was, I was like, my neighbors needed me. I was like, I'm, I'm there for you. I'll do it. It's a lot of fun to do, and I think the best thing, the best part it is about it is, is that you don't think you can do it. You're always like, well, chainsaw, that's for professionals. Listen, if you're going to be, if you're doing the kind of trees the professionals are doing, yeah, you need to be a professional for that. But if you're just working around your yard and you use, you, you use the safety features that are built in, you can do this. And even if you're not
not a very big person, if you're not all sort of jacked up like Pete here, <laughs> uh, if you're if you're a smaller person, a dimension person, like Kristen a Barker a who's with dimension. us. A little bit more petite. You yeah. are more petite and you're yeah. lovely yeah. and Kristen sweet Barker. and wonderful, but you know what? You put a chainsaw on this girl's hand and she hey, means nothing but watch business. Out. Watch out. I it. love this because of the push of a button. Look at that. I can cut through this like butter in seconds. And the great thing about it is that I am totally in control. And as soon as I let go, it stops yeah. right away. So I don't have to worry about gas. I don't have to worry about fumes. I don't have to worry about this getting away from me. It's so nice and easy to use. You have that cushion handle right here. You have the safety button with the trigger. So as soon as you hit those two buttons, it goes. When you let go, it stops right away. But ladies, I'm telling you, you will be as comfortable with this as you are with your uh, hair straightening iron. It is that yeah. easy to use. And what I love about it too is that if you don't have a big guy like Pete or Guy around, you can do this yourself. The convenience of being able to just go out there and tackle whatever you need to tackle whenever you want to is great. And you know, I'm 5'2", I'm so you can see, this isn't even extended. This is so high. <laughs> Give you a little frame that. of reference yeah. there. As, <laughs> as I stand next to her, no. And, and you know what's, what's funny is, you look at this thing and you don't realize it's it's only weighs eight and a half pounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very light in your hand. So you are able to control this. You're able to manipulate mm -hmm. it, whether it's over your head or right in front of you. Don't you wish you had a way to even just chop up that kindling wood or that firewood for your fire in the wintertime? But you're like, right. do I really want to get out there with a handsaw? Have you seen? I mean, handsaw is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. And most people just, you know, you know if you're in your 60s mm -hmm. or 70s or 80s, you're not going to be using a handsaw. Ladies out there, you know, you don't want to deal with that. Well, Maybe and you some don't of have you to can. bend over. Right. This does the work for you. And you just <coughs> lay it right on the branch, the piece of wood, the log, yep. the firewood that you're trying to cut. So it takes all the work out of it for you. And I'm going to cut a little bit I, larger. All right, Kristen. We, we got put the big log out here. Oh, yeah. Watch yeah. it go. So remember, first time ever, we've got that 10-inch bar and chain. So even when you're looking at that diameter, which is probably about a four and a half, and you're cutting yeah. right through where that where that bend is, a, a knot in that wood, and you could see it mm -hmm. go right through there. The thing about this is, tell them about the lack of vibration. There's very little kickback. It's so smooth the whole time. Again, that's that Oregon bar and chain. That's how it automatically lubricates that chain. It makes it so safe yeah. and so easy for everyone and, to do. And you're letting the weight of the chainsaw, that, that seven or eight pounds that's at the head of the saw there, yep. you're letting yep. that do most of the work. And this is right in front of you. You know, you know, the hardest thing for folks is when there's something that's way up high. Mm -hmm. Peter showed you how you can go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 feet over your head because you've got the extender pole that's built into this. This is the, 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 the time of year to get it. And I agree with what Peter was saying. You know, the fall is the best time to get your pole saw. Because even in the winter time, maybe there's that one branch that gets ice on it sure. and it's hanging precariously over exactly. your car. This is prevention. That's exactly yep. it. And boy, when you pull this out and the neighbors see it, mm -hmm. they're going to be very, first, not fearful, they will be respectful and they'll be very jealous because they want one of these. I love that we have all the colors this year because yeah. listen, if I'm going to be doing yard work or anything around the house, I want to look fashionable while I'm doing it. So I love that we give you all the color options, but I'm telling you, this is so, so easy to use. Like Pete was saying, no kickback, no no vibration when you're cutting through those branches. You have the nice padded handle on here, all the safety buttons, and you have that amazing reach. Uh, you, you can't beat it. All right, listen, we got about 15 minutes left in this. Uh, before we move on, I want to walk back over and show you some colors. And we've got HGTV's John Gidding is here with us. We love John. John always has great ideas and great tips on how you can utilize some of our products uh, in, in, you know, getting that perfect yard, that perfect landscaping, because that's what this guy does, and he does it better than anybody else. Welcome to the show, my Thanks, friend. Thanks, guys. Good, Good to, to be here. Thank you. First of all, we got great colors, everybody. I'm going to go through them first, and then John will give you a tip. The camo and the red are the most popular, but I have it in the camo color. We've never had colors before, if that kind of thing matters to you, which I guess it does to most people. We have it in purple. I have it in uh, the aqua. Uh, teal, excuse me. This is called teal. Then we have it in blue, green, yellow, orange, and then down by John is the red. 
Orange and teal are the most limited right now. You know, John, I, I find like having one of these things can really, it can really get, help you to get your property like really in ship shape. For yeah, you. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you have to keep in mind that your landscape in front of your house is really a three dimensional object. And the facade of your landscape is what's gonna be most affected by this. So by actually having one of these in your home, you actually retain that power to change the facade of your landscape yourself. And that's a big deal because in the end, like you said, you end up saving money, not yeah. having to hire some professionals, right. but also give you the opportunity to learn a little bit about your garden because in fact by limbing up your trees you make them look a lot more beautiful you allow light to actually reach your lawn which allows your saw to grow makes your curb appeal look great yep. and finally if you've got fruiting or flowering trees mm -hmm. it's pruning that's going to make them fruit and flower more abundantly you got to have the right tools for the job and you wonder why you know those neighbors have that great yard well they're probably paying somebody to do it and if you don't want to pay somebody 150 bucks or 200 bucks to come out and do that pruning and do that trimming do it yourself for for, for $89, you own this machine. You, you don't have to rely on somebody else coming out to do it for you. And, and you can do some of these things yourself. So again, one more time. $89.95 is all you will pay. It's a great today special for today. It's on four payments. You can get it home for as little. I think that says $22.49 right there. Grab it while you can. By the way, we got the safety glasses available too. You can get a two pack of those. Uh, by the way, also get social with John. John's around to talk to you if you've yes, got I'm questions. Here. Yeah, John would love to talk to you. Let's get social with him on our community page over there at HSN. We'll be checking back in with John from time to time. Now let's go back over and check in with Peter who is going to aptly demonstrate. <laughs> I, want, I mean, the thing we're talking about the most here is that right. you can get up overhead, Look at how which is so is. important. So we've got branches on our little marked tree here. We didn't want to kill a real tree. No, exactly. So, so we've we got some branches up, up high. Yep. Well, you can see we've got one at nine feet and one at 11 feet. And I've got it extended. Remember, when I'm reaching overhead, this the whole system weighs less than nine pounds, which I think is incredible because you have that, that hollow fiberglass tube, strong but lightweight, the comfortable grip, as Kristen was pointing out. And again, I can still be at a safe 45 degree angle. So if I come all the way up here to 11 feet and I just rest that on there, once, once you're, sorry guy, once you right. get on that branch, you're just letting that, that just that weight of that Watch motor, nice and easy, go right through that branch. And it's so simple. That's, That's awesome, what's so Pete. terrific about this. And because of that added length, you never want to be directly underneath it. So you don't have to now. You have enough length where the whole system is nine and a half feet long that you can be at a 45 degree angle and safely take down those limbs. And remember, 10 inch bar and chain. So we're cutting down some small limbs up there, but this is capable of handling some much larger limbs. If you want to take down limbs and you're using them for firewood, you can size them perfectly with this. Again, yeah. I think everybody even guys who might you hear my reach is seven and if a half have, if you have a handheld chainsaw and you're just you know you're over six feet like me then you can reach about seven feet you never would because even a big strong guy cannot it's hard you to can't hold, hold that with one hand like that no it's hard but, to do and not only but, that you know the other thing really quick Pete, that, that i think a lot of people are getting nervous about look where my hands are and look where right. the blade is on this chainsaw Okay, my hand right here is six inches from that blade. My other one is about a foot away from that blade. Not to mention that that blade is six or eight inches away from my legs and anything else that I, you know, don't want to hurt on your body. That's what it is. With this, your hand is way far away from the actual cutting area. Exactly. It's easier. <coughs> but if you've ever used an intimidating chainsaw like that, I think you're going to be really impressed by the power. You saw that larger diameter um, limb that Kristen was cutting through. It can handle those big jobs. It does a great job. It is electric, you're gonna add your extension cord, but it will do a great job on those branches up ahead or overhead, the branches that fall during the winter time when you have all those storms and then you have so many down limbs, this is going to do a great job. There you can see it, no matter what color you get, you are gonna be amazed at the branches, how high you're gonna see those branches are. I know if you go outside at your house right now, guy, when you see what 10 feet looks like, that is very high over your head. And this is nine and a half feet yeah. without even lifting it up off the ground. As I open it's, that up I'm telling you and guys, tighten it down, it's amazing. I, I bought, let me tell you what I bought. I bought one of these for a very good friend of mine, my buddy Ian, because he, he's here in Florida and he couldn't reach the palm fronds. Right. And 
And uh, and I know he works real hard. He didn't want to spend. Uh, the guys will they'll do your palms for like 30, 40 bucks a palm tree. Right. So and we got palm trees all over the place. You think you spend 250 bucks and, and, and it takes the guys like 15 minutes. So I got one for him for Christmas last year. He loved it. I got one from a very good friend up in Tennessee who you know. And, I, yeah. and, and it's a, an old girlfriend of mine. She loves it because she's got two acres of property up there that's her that's her grandma's house. And they don't have the money to, to be hiring people to come out. That's a lot of land. So she can take care of it as well. This, you know, I said this uh, last year and the year before we had this. This, this ladies, this empowers you. And I'm talking to you out there. If somebody tells you you can't do something, don't, don't. I would never sit and, and take that. You can do this. I mean, if you can hold this thing in your hand and squeeze a trigger, you have the ability to change the way your environment looks, to change the way your property looks. And if you, maybe you live alone right now. Maybe, you know, the man is gone or for what, whatever happened and you want to still be able to do stuff, you should be able to grab something like this. At this price, now's the time to get it. I'd love to hear from you if you own one of these pole saws. You know, I love hearing Kristen's point, point of view because she comes out here, you know, and she's just a little thing and she's able to, to move this thing and wield this thing easily. It gives faith uh, and hope to everybody out there that may say, you know, you can't do it. You're too small or you're not strong enough. That's a bunch of garbage. You can do whatever you want once you set your mind to it. All right, we're going to come back and show you some more demonstrations with Mr. Kilcullen yeah. here. Guy, okay, one of the things we were talking about <laughs> is how safe and how easy it is to use. And Kristen mentioned this as well. So you've got your trigger down here by the handle, but if I pull that trigger, nothing happens unless I first activate that safety button. So I, I hit that safety button and then I pull the trigger and it will activate that pole saw. But when you let go of it, it stops and you're set to go. All you have to do is add your extension cord right there. The extension cord plugs in. We have a little cord holder right there so it doesn't accidentally come out. You're set to go. That's why I was saying you can handle this. The whole thing weighs less than than nine pounds. And I want to show you this part as well. All you're doing, or the only maintenance you have to do, is just to add that bar and chain oil. It goes right in there, you add that oil, and then, let's brush that clean, we've got a little window here that lets you know that there's oil in there. If there's oil in the reservoir, you know that it's automatically lubricating that bar and chain and you're set to go. That's how simple it is, that's how easy it is. The safety's there, so I'm gonna flip that back around. 10 inch bar and chain, oh, and I wanna show you again how you can articulate that head from zero all the way up to 30 degrees. Three different positions, this is the only pole saw we've ever had that does that. So you loosen that, and I can go to the middle and then all the way to 30 degrees, and then you lock that in place. So when you're going up and overhead, again, it makes it that simple to cut those branches. So however you use the saw, it's gonna be perfect, it's gonna be simple, you're gonna save money, but as Guy said, you can definitely do this, no matter how big or small you are, how if you've never had any experience with a chainsaw, because this is unlike those big intimidating chainsaws that right. you've seen in the past. No fumes, no gas, very easy to handle. Oh, and I want to go over that again, how because of this Oregon bar and chain and the way this is, is, is manufactured, that it's not going to give you a lot of kickback. It makes it even more safe if you're cutting a little bit closer to the end of that bar and mm -hmm. chain because of the way it narrows at the end. So very little vibration, very little kickback. You're never fighting that pole saw. It's very comfortable to use. So give this a try. If you've never considered it, this is definitely the one and you can personalize it and get your favorite Color, which yeah, is nice. and you, you know what else is nice too is it doesn't make a lot of noise. You know the problem, and Kristen brought that up earlier with uh, the fact that when you when you let the trigger go, it turns off. It doesn't idle. It's not smoking or idling or giving you that gas smell wherever you go. You don't have to deal with that. Your neighbors are not getting all you know PO'd at you because you got the chainsaw going at five o'clock in the morning, and they're and they're like, what's up with that guy? This thing hardly. I mean, <laughs> you heard me right, Pete. This thing hardly makes any noise whatsoever when you're it, using it. It doesn't. I've used a real chainsaw. Okay, I, I when we had storms, we had hurricanes. I was on a roof chopping down trees with this guy once. It's not fun. It's a, it's a scary thing. No, a real this, chainsaw, it's a mile and a half away. You this can hear is that. so easy. No one is going to get annoyed no. at you for using this one at all. So I will start cutting again. And again, we've got about, what do you think, about three inch or yeah. four inch diameter right there? Yeah. And I want to just use some cuts bigger. No, you can definitely go bigger because you can see that 10 inch bar and chain is fantastic. So you can just quickly and easily cut through that. And again, I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm just letting the saw to, right? work its way through there and just keep cutting Look and that. let that 10-inch bar and chain go right through the wood. 
It does an excellent job. I am finished. All right, I'm gonna walk Yo. over because I'm gonna grab one of these old coasters that Peter just made. Right. Check this out, and I want, I want you to see how clean this cuts, too. All right, you don't see any splintering off here. This cuts so nice. Peter, you could, you could go into the coaster making business if you wanted to, you really I'm could. I'm tempted. But look at how nice that is, and, and you know, you see how thin it is, too. So that's, that's the kind of cuts you can make, gives you an idea of just how easy this is to handle. Listen, I have inside five minutes in the presentation. I want you to grab one of these. Camo, purple, teal, uh, blue, green, uh, orange, yellow, and red. Uh, the camo, I believe, and the red are the most popular right now, going quickly. You get everything you need. Uh, it's easy to put together. You put this thing together. It took me about 15, 10 minutes to put mine together. Exactly. You just add the chain, and you yep. screw a screw in. That's it. You can actually uh, utilize the tension control here as well if you want to If you want to get that chain tightened right. up a little when, bit. When you start to use the chain a bunch, what can happen is that the chain will loosen a little bit. And all you do is loosen this. We include the Allen wrench that you need to loosen that. And you basically just tighten that chain up again. You don't want it too tight, but you certainly don't want it loose. And it can loosen. It's pretty normal that it loosens after you've used it a bunch of times. So again, comes with that Allen wrench and you're set to go. But you talked about that smooth cut. I want everyone to understand that Oregon bar and chain. This is not you know, a, a chain that we just found. This isn't a manufacturer just making a chain for us. This is the same chain that you find on the very expensive, huge chainsaws that every lumberjack around the country uses. This Oregon bar and chain is definitely the standard. We have that on here. 10 inch bar is the largest that we've ever had on a lightweight pole saw like this. So because it's lightweight, if you're thinking that it won't have the kind of power you need to maybe cut that firewood or maybe take down that small tree in the backyard, this can do it. 10 inch bar and chain, plenty of power but still lightweight and easy to handle so everybody can benefit using it's, this pole saw. I, I'm telling you and, and trust me because when my neighbors see me out with the pole saw out there they're always everyone of them always comes over and they're like hey can I borrow that can I borrow I'm like I'm like because they look and they see it's not threatening it's not hard to use anybody can do this you can do it if you want one I've got about three minutes or so remaining I'm not sure how how if we can go any longer than that because we got a lot of people that are calling in who've never owned one of these before Lots of questions. Trust me, you can do this. It's easy. In fact, once you get out there, you're going to look around your house and be like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take care yes. of that. A lot of things that you never thought you could do, you will do. And having that extra long reach will enable you to do things that you never thought you could do, that you never thought you'd have to get on a ladder to do. And let me tell you, you don't want to get on a ladder. Don't ever get on a ladder with a chainsaw. If you have to get on a ladder with a chainsaw, then let a professional do it. Right. The whole idea of this is that you don't have to get on a ladder and you can still utilize it. Yeah, so you're going to get your chainsaw home. So when you get at home. Take it out, get your bar and chain oil. You put your oil in there, screw the cap back on. You're going to add your extension cord, plug it in, and then if you want to go up overhead, you're just going to loosen that right there, extend that out as far as you think you need, tighten it up, and now I'm just going to move back a little bit. And so let me hit that one at nine foot right there. Basically, I'm going to start the chainsaw, then lay it on that branch just like that, and then let it do Man. its thing. That's it. So even up to 11 feet, I'm going to move over here a little bit. 11 feet up, just like that. Hopefully your tree won't rattle that much as wow. our little fake tree it's does here. It's not a real tree, but, so exactly, we it's not know a real that. Tree. But you can see that the saw can do it. It can handle those jobs. And then when you're done, you can just collapse that down. You're going to put it in the garage. You're going to use it now. As soon as you get it home, you're going to make up for all that growth that happened over the spring and summertime. And then you'll be ready for the winter. And then you'll be using it again in the spring, in the summer, and then back to fall. You will have this for years, and you will love it. And let me tell you this, too. As far as storage, what I did with mine, I have a shed out. Outside, I put two hooks on either side and I just hang it. I just hang it just like an oil, like, like an oar up there. I just hang it up on the wall and that's all it is. Uh, she had to come out I again. Had Kristen to. had to come I out again to, to show to her left. her uh, chainsaw skills out oh, here. Yeah. So easy. You let it do the work for you. So you just lay it right on top and then again, as soon as you let go, you don't hear anything. It yeah. stops instantly so if you've maybe never even dreamed of doing this before and honestly I didn't until I got the chance to present this on HSN but then you see how easy it is how lightweight it is how you have that nice cushiony grip how there's no kickback no vibration you know this isn't just an amazing tool for your yard for your garden this is a real problem solver because you don't have to call anybody over to do this for you you are going to be able to take care of your home with doing this all on your own and you're going to save so much money which yeah, is huge. I know. Well, and that's a really big uh, important thing mm -hmm. by the way is the amount of money you're going to save i also want to grab this one right here and just show you okay look at this thing guys i'm holding this thing get it balanced here with two fingers this is it right
right here. That's all you have to deal with. So if you don't tell me, oh, it's too heavy, it's I can't do it. This is it. You hang it up on a wall. That's all you need to do when you're ready to get it out. Because this is how it is when it's all compacted out. You can extend it and you go to town. Everybody should have one of these. It's one of the most valuable garden tools I think anybody can Definitely. invest in. I, I think sure. at this price, and you know, mm -hmm. we don't even bring up the fact that you know what those regular chainsaws, you can spend 150, 200, 300 bucks and then on you those have to buy gas. Easily. Every time you gotta yeah. go down and you gotta buy the gas can. Mm -hmm. And then not only that, but once you fill that with gas, that tool always smells like gas. Oh yeah. There's nothing you garage. can do about it. Yeah. So it won't stink up your house. Mm -hmm. Give me one more cut there, oh, Chris. No I, problem. I, I didn't get to cut anything today. I'm a little uh, oh, yeah. a little oh, bit do some cutting. clean cut so this is so much I better know. for your trees it's going to make them so much healthier but really so so easy and having that convenience being able to just do it whenever you want to in a couple of minutes is such a lifesaver if this if this saves exactly. one giant dent in your car from a tree branch yeah. falling on it right or yeah. that or, or breaking a, a picture mm -hmm. window or one of those things think about it it's paid for itself many times mm -hmm. over but again it empowers you to be able to take care of it when the problem happens because you see branches hanging over your house from the snow and the whatever that because that's coming yeah then you could take care of it right away you Grab that pole saw, plug it in, use whatever extension cord you want, get a, a nice get a nice big one, that's a tip I'll tell you, so that you can go all around your house and go out there and take care of that business. Heck, you could probably you could probably make money utilizing it. Go around your neighborhood, charge oh, yeah. them five bucks a limb. Why exactly. not? Make a, you make a killing out there. It's so <laughs> simple, you're gonna love it. So remember, it's the lightest pole saw we have, it's the only pole saw we have with that adjustable head, the only pole saw in colors, it's the only one with that 10 inch bar and chain. You can definitely handle this. Add that barn chain oil, and then you're going to add your extension cord, and you are going to be amazed at what you can accomplish with this. All right, listen, if you joined us late, we're going to have another full presentation coming up at the top of the next hour, so you can uh, you can grab it if you want then. Uh, we've got more stuff coming up in this show, so we continue with our fall cleanup.